Hey, I heard the discussion on a recent, I'm doing a little edit because I think this one's been around for a while, on a recent yeah. episode about how to log everything that happens with Apple Home, whether manually triggered in the Home app or through automations. The Home Log for HomeKit app does exactly that. You can get it for iPhone, iPad, and Mac, but you'd want to run it on Mac since it can run in the background there. So I think I've heard of this. I don't think I've ever used it. But yeah, they will grab, you run it in the background and it will grab all that information and create a log for you that you can review. So somebody figured it out. Somebody just, somebody wrote the app to do the thing that we were talking about. They they didn't write it after we talked about it. Like it it preexisted, but wow. Huh? Yeah, I think it's been around for a bit. I've never really tried it. Yeah. I agree. I would agree with the advice. You'd want it on something that is sitting there all the time, sort of running it, so you can grab, you know, as much information as yes, in history as much. As you want. Yeah, right. Because it's only able to collect. It's not. It's not giving you visibility into some log that HomeKit keeps. It is the engine that is doing the logging. So, right. You. you yeah. Would, yeah. Ah. Not exactly sure how it works, but I would. Yeah, I would assume it's watching network traffic and stuff for specific kinds of messages yeah. but maybe not because all that would be encrypted too i would think so yeah i don't know what kind of magic it does well but i mean things can have access to home kit yeah i don't know how much access they get but yeah that's it's interesting all right cool and that's yeah. 4.99 on the app store 4.99 it it has not been updated in about 18 months, it looks like. Mm. But uh, but T. Latkins says that, it, uh, you know, it, it still works. So maybe it's one of these, if it ain't broke, then 